road, folks. We on the road uh, once again. Give you a nice first person point of view here from the camera. Look at all that damn grass. They need to cut the grass. I mean, that is dangerous. You can't see the damn next lane for all the damn grass. But uh, we're going to Walmart. Hi, folks. Hey, big Mama talking here. We're going to Walmart and GameStop. Yeah. I tell you, this GameStop at Shamley, this is the best damn GameStop there is. They got a huge store. I mean, hey, their store is huge. Got exciting life. GameStop and Walmart. Woo! Hell, they're the two best places to go. That and Fry's and Movie Stop, the best damn places in the world. Yeah, yeah, that's what you say. My favorite what. damn place. I like a little excitement in my life. Well, I love, I love that Fry's. I tell you, that's my favorite store. I love Fry's too. Can with ketchup. Fry's? Oh, I get fries like French fries. I like fries for my ketchup. How you folks been? Yeah, how y'all been? You see that oasis over there? That is a that is a strip club. That is a strip club. Hey, speaking of strip club, you know on the news tonight, there's this man complaining about a loud noise party in the neighborhood. Actually, his next door neighbor. Oh, he was? And, and, and he called a cop because he said it's just too late. He wasn't an old man. He was young. He'd been a kid himself. Anyway, he called because he said they was disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace. He said that they had cops all over the people talking all over the neighborhood, going to this part of their store, and dang, that went in, and not only was this lady, this, this man next door neighbor, so you better know your neighbor, she was just selling beer and marijuana. Oh, uh, my and, Lord. And that's not it, y'all. Speaking of marijuana. No, no, let me tell you the rest. And she was having a going on the bridge. strip club down in the basement. Strip club in the basement? Good Lord. Basement. <laughs> anyway, speaking of marijuana, watch all these people saying smoke marijuana, booger. It'll make you feel better. It'll make you undepressed and all that. I ain't smoking yeah. no damn marijuana. It dumb you down a little bit. That damn dumb down my brain cells. I tell y'all what. That stuff smells like shit, when too. you're young, you think you all that. But I tell you hey, what, when you get old, you wish you had some of those brain cells. You remember that time we went to that, uh... One of Charlotte's friends' house to pick up a birthday present. Oh, Lord, let me tell y'all about that. Is this a short video? I got to tell you, first time I ever met this man, and Lord knows he was a policeman. And he and his wife, they was divorced. And they told me, asked me to go over there and pick up the little daughter's birthday present. Yeah, and guess what it smelled well, like? I was being the nice person that I am. And I went over to that, and I guess his ex-wife had a boyfriend. This big old guy come to the door. And uh, he opened the door, and the marijuana like to knock me for a loop. And he said, come on in. He said, come on in. And I'm like, uh, I'm just here to pick up the presents to take to your uh, girlfriend's ex-husband's house. And I thought, oh, Lord, I got to pick up those presents that smell like dope. Yeah, and yeah, that's, going here's the funny cop's part. House? A cop's house. Her daddy was a cop. We smelled like marijuana Her getting the damn presents. I put the presents in my car and Booger Meister said, Mama, what in, big mama, what in the world is that? That smell like marijuana. I said, that is marijuana. And I got to go take this to a cop's house. And oh, Lord, I went over there and I thought, oh, Lord, I don't do drugs. I know my kids don't do drugs. I don't mess with yeah, drugs. Yeah, that was... And then I had to take those presents in smelling just like drugs. Yeah, that was bad. To this cop's house. And I said, oh, There's Lord. an airplane up there. He's it. And then he told me about his ex-wife. She had a boyfriend. And how nice they he was. I'm like, yeah, you go over there right there. You see how nice he's smoking. Damn, yeah, smoking, uh... You know what? Okay. Hey, look at that right there. Hair transplant. Two dollars a graft. 404-231-3100. Well, you know, I only get it from hair. You'll give me about two sprigs of it. Hey, y'all know what's funny? I noticed in these before and after pictures of a uh, hair transplant, they don't smile in the first picture when they're all bald. But in the picture when they got all the hair, oh, they're smiling happy as a giddy ant. There's a porn shop right there. Video heat. I never been there. Porn shop? You better not go no damn porn shop. No, I ain't going to no porn shop. I'm just saying that's what it is. I looked it up online. I said, "What is Video Heat?" And I found it. My favorite place. Video Heat. Oh, mercy. I wanted to go there one time. When I was little. Remember? I thought they had VHSs in there. 
then I found out about it, and I don't think I'll go there. There goes some uh, people crossing the street. What you think they was? Anyway, I, I hope you folks have been having a good summertime. Cause the summer is just about over. over. I don't know. I ain't had no summer. I ain't had no vacation. Lord knows when. I, we got friends. Damn, they have vacation every two weeks. Go on cruises. Go. Jerry, he's been invited out, but he's had a holiday. Uh, I ain't going on vacation. He, he didn't want to go. So he I'm afraid if I leave, something happened to all my stuff. Somebody yeah. steal all my games and all that. But uh, I didn't want to go. Got a nice invitation for about seven days, but. But uh, I appreciate it, but uh, no thanks. Didn't want to go. My vacation ain't going. My room with my bed is. Ooh, that's a nice ride. car right there. Look at that car in front of yeah, us. Yeah, you get a job, you make it one of those. Take me a damn million dollars to get me one of them. Yeah, that's right. I have to have probably four jobs to get me that car. Yeah, that's most everybody got about four jobs. There goes a Chick Fil A. Tell you what, it costs to live. I There's Bank of America. I got me a bank account there. There goes Arby's. I don't know what the hell happened to them. Their damn chicken fingers taste like shit. We got a friend, his new wife to be. She owns, she just 20, 20 years old. And she owns two Arby's and a KFC. She lucky. I said, I well, I think we've been talking, been talking forever. But uh, I'll see y'all right. later. Y'all have a good day, good night, good evening. Yeah, and, uh, y'all don't mind me chipping in like I do. Have fun on the road. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye. Bye now.